That's <laughs> probably controversial. There, there aren't a lot of people that agree with that modern country at all. I've never heard it, so I'm, I plead the fifth. <laughs> oh, yeah. mm -hmm. There we go. Well, uh, do either of you like corn mazes? No. Sure. Casey? No, oh, Casey, stop Casey, it. I like Neil, corn. Come I like on. corn. Okay. Of course, Neil uh, will probably get lost. Well, no. you know. Yeah, yeah I know where I'm I going. guess that's yeah. why. Mm -hmm. Casey loves them. Maybe it's more of a Midwest thing. Maybe it's not quite a Southern thing. Maybe it's more of a Midwest thing. But again, tonight's forecast, uh, we're looking pretty solid. If you're heading out and about or anything like that, temperature wise, we'll be at about 80 degrees by 8 o'clock. Mostly clear skies. Mostly clear by 9. 77, 73 by 10. We'll start to see a few more clouds by 10 as well because well there's a front on the way if you can believe it that will be dropping our temperatures as we head into the weekend but we do have some unfortunate news with our drought monitor and it's because of this how much rain have we seen in Tyler well look at this folks zero point zero zero for Longview zero point zero zero for Lufkin I bet you never never would have guessed we have not seen a drop of rain for any city across East Texas so far this month and unfortunately it could be next Wednesday or Thursday before we see any rain so the updated drought monitor came out this morning at about 730 and this is a look at last week's. We were talking about how we were under a moderate drought for our western counties and it was abnormally dry here in the yellow. Well, this week a little bit of a change that moderate drought now has been expanded and we've gone from a D1 to a D2 severe drought for parts of Anderson and extreme western Cherokee County now and all of East Texas is at least abnormally dry with most of East Texas now in some type of drought so we really need to see the rain. Better rain chances do exist as we head into next week. The 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook is valid for October. October 12th through October 16th, which is pretty much Wednesday through next Sunday. And the best chance of rain across the Lone Star State will exist well off to our west. For us, at least there's a chance, right? It's better than what we can say through this weekend. And as far as those temperatures go, I still expect our highs to be in the 80s. It's still to be determined where in the 80s they are going to fall. But all signs are pointing to above average temperatures for next week. Now, we're not necessarily all dry for the entire Lone Star State, but Texas is a big state. We were talking about this yesterday. Storm system is in New Mexico and western Texas, which is bringing some rain to the air. Area. And I also mentioned cloud cover earlier, a front that will be moving into our region as we head into very, very early for your Friday. We're not going to be necessarily seeing cooler temperatures tomorrow. We'll hit, we'll still hit 88, but that drier and cooler air will start to move in as we head into this weekend. This is your forecast 82 Saturday, 85 Sunday, plenty of sunshine around. We'll see plenty of sunshine Monday and Tuesday, and there are your rain chances both Wednesday and Thursday. Deep East Texas, same deal here. We'll be at 89 Friday, middle 80s Saturday and Sunday with a pop up shower or two Wednesday into Thursday. Neil, Casey? I'm going to write a song called Shower.